What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, if you haven't seen the video I put out for Tiki's birthday party, yeah, you, you probably then don't realize how far and full out I go for my pet's birthdays. today's video, we are going to be celebrating a very special birthday because a year ago today, there was a very cheeky, food-driven, silkworm-slaying, intelligent lizard that happens to be mostly green who was born. Yeah, you didn't really have to guess because the title said it, but today is Sabzi's birthday and man, I am so appreciative of having this animal in my life. She is just such a cool lizard and we have to do something awesome for her. So awesome that, well, yeah, I bought her a birthday gift. That wasn't clickbait. Yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll open that gift at the end of the video. But before we dive into today's video, I just want to say hi again. I'm Dion, like I said before. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested about learning about, I make videos every Tuesday and Friday. So you should definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so that you don't ever miss any of my future uploads as they come out. And I also need to give a shout out to my new patrons over on Patreon. We have Addy. Thank you so much for your support, Addy. I really appreciate you watching the channel and supporting me this way. We also have Jacksonson Monster Truck. Thanks so much for your support, buddy. Really appreciate it. And then we also have Maria and Kathy. Thank you so much for choosing to become a patron on my channel. I really appreciate that support. And if you're in the five tier and up level, you can expect to be receiving your personal handwritten thank you letters in the mail at some point in the near future. I'd also like to give another shout out to my good friend Brandon Van Aston, who's the owner and operator of Canadian Cold Bloods. Thank you for producing such a magical animal. I'm so appreciative of the joy in pet ownership Sabzi has brought me. And none of that would have been possible if you weren't doing what you do, producing such incredible captive bred green tree monitors. So, Brandon, you're the man. Thank you to the Van Aston family. Really appreciate you guys. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to have as extravagant of a birthday because the measures due to the, you know, have changed. So it's gonna be very small, intimate, my family and I, and that's still awesome. That's still very wholesome. I'm really excited to show you all what I got up to to make the day special and show Sabzi how much he means to me. Happy birthday, Sabzi. Hey girl, how's it going? Oh, somebody's excited for some birthday Jimneys, eh? Look at you. Madame, are you excited? All right, let's get those birthday Jimneys into the cage. Sabzi, where are you going? Sabzi, ready?
For today's question of the day, can you guess how many crickets or Jiminy's Sabzi just ate in that whole feeding sequence? You're 100% gonna have to go back and take a look and be very careful you don't miss any of them. Let me know in the comment section down below how many you think and let's see if you can guess the right number. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. Alright guys, so while Sabzi's enjoying that food, we're gonna go ahead and open the first gift here, which is sort of for me more than for her, but let's go ahead here. Oh man, look at that. Guys, check it out. I'm gonna get this in a frame, but that looks so awesome. The detail, everything. This poster is wicked. Look at that. 
Just gonna say, you can buy this poster on my merch store, everybody. Support the channel if you like. Oh, this is so cool. That is just so awesome. All right, guys, you're well aware that as much as possible, I want the best of the best for my animals, which is why we got Sabzi something very special here. Let's go ahead now and open the gift wrapping. Oops. Well, there's your big hint. Well, everybody, here it is. I got Sabzi, the 51 watt Arcadia Jungle Dawn 34 inch LED bar. And I would say hands down, this is the best LED system on the market. I've been wanting to get this for her for quite some time because it's going to be an incredibly powerful light unit when it comes to her upgraded enclosure that I'll either be designing or getting at some point in the next probably six months. So this purchase is a big one. They're very expensive units, but let me tell you, they're worth the money. So let's go ahead now and unbox this beauty and set it up on Sabzi's enclosure. Take a look at that. Awesome. All right, everyone, I have the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED bar set up now above Sabzi's enclosure. You can see it here. Let's go ahead and see what a difference this light fixture will make as far as the lighting output in here in comparison to the T5 Sun Blasters. Here we go. I've been warned that they are extremely bright. Holy, that is bright. Woo, look at that. Wow, Sabzi. Look at that. You got a nice bright light, girl. Oh my goodness. Look how vibrant everything looks. It's so rich and perfect. Beautiful. The coloring, the lighting is just so nice. You got your little hiding spot. <laughs> but yeah, everyone, there we go. That's Habsy's gift. I hope she's going to like it. I think it's definitely something very useful for her. And, uh, you know, now let's let's go ahead and give her her favorite treat as a way to finish it off because Tiki got a little grub pie cake, but Sapsy doesn't like grub pie. I think most of us here do know what she likes. Silkworms. <laughs> You guys probably know by now that our hobby or the practice of keeping these types of animals in the family home is constantly under attack by people that truly don't understand how spectacular and special they are. I really want to do something with my platform to show the world that owning a leopard gecko or a crested gecko or even a tarantula should be as appropriate or normalized as owning a hamster. There's really no reason why it shouldn't. Most of these animals have been captive bred for several generations and have as much right as any other pet being in the family home. These animals should be here to stay. So when I make these videos to show my love and appreciation for the lizard pets I own, I'm doing it to break down the stigmas that these have to be viewed as these crazy wild animals that could be dangerous and other things, because in most cases that isn't how it is. 
they're captive bred and with the right amount of research and responsibility can be such rewarding animals to keep in your home. So I hope that makes some sense. I hope you guys enjoyed today's birthday video. I know Sabzi certainly did because she ate with her eyes bigger than her stomach, I would say, but she deserved it, especially today. And I can't wait to see you guys all on Friday. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in a video again soon. If you want to see more videos about my green tree monitors, check out the playlist up above. Take care, guys.